All right, welcome back. So I picked a uh, four pack of these up at <laughs> Audi. Uh, it was 13-ish or something for the four pack. I didn't see a price when I bought it and I wouldn't have bought it if, if I'd have known what the price was. But I was already at the fucking front, so whatever. State of Brewing, barrel aged out, it's 11%. 11 percent 11 I think yeah it's 11 percent I've already had a few today uh they're at bit 82 check-ins pretty low not sure how long this has been out for or at the bottle opener okay I got the titanium carabiner that just literally rips the tops of glass bottles off but hey we're good we didn't do it we didn't destroy this one today so just did a sour from Prairie. A last review. Meh, it's okay. So it's cold as shit. It's uh, 20 degrees outside. This has been sitting directly in the sun for about 15, 20 minutes. Coming out of a 42 degree fridge. It does feel warmer to the touch. So we'll see. With sour wood barrel notes. Not really a lot of char. Kind of sweet, little caramel notes. Hmm. Cheers. All right. Solid. Plenty of barrel and whiskey flavor. Not the best, but good for the price. A uh, big sticky whiskey nose, chocolate and subtle coconut undertones with a solid barrel presence. He nailed it. Heavy duty, boozy bourbon flavor at 11% ABV. Good overall taste, rich, robust chocolate coffee and dark malts. Uh, this is awfully pleasant. Probably could age a few months, but excellent value. Thanks, Dan. Thank you, Dan. I'll look for a date on these, but I don't, I don't think I did see a date. But if I can find anything on any of the others that I got, if I see one, I'll, uh, I'll age it. It's, it's really a not-so-sweet stout, so if you're wanting something that's really syrupy, thick, thick and sticky and sweet, this is almost all of that but the sweet. So, that's just, in my opinion... I'm trying to get through this shit quick. My hands are fucking frozen. Alright. It kind of has a subtle cola up front. Some of the uh, really lighter... I, I call them cheaper stouts. I don't say that in front of the Yeti. Um, kind of have that kind of a note. But... It's picked up with chocolate, caramel, coffee, um, but they're they're not all above average. Like they're all kind of kind of low on the flavor. There, it's a little light all around, but it's good. Eleven percent. You know, I'd say it's a session stout flavor. I guess you could say uh, this would be good introducing to uh, people that are not into barrel aged stuff. It's not too sweet at all, in my opinion. Honestly, I would compare the flavor to like a Tootsie Roll in a way, uh, with a little bit of like a coffee note. And like that one guy did mention, uh, coconut. But it's almost like a, yeah, like a Tootsie Roll kind of a thing. Kind of a, the way the sweetness and the chocolate kind of go together. So, this got a 4.06. Uh, that's an 8 on my scale. I do 1 through 10. Mm, for the price, I think that's actually rather decent for a four pack, um, 11 percenters. For the flavor, I'll do slightly above what the score is. I'll do eight and a half. Um, it's just those flavors got to go from here to here, you know, at least above average, you know. Come on, go above, go above the equator there, Chief. It's just all the flavors are a little too light, but all the flavors are there. I do like all the flavors besides that cola flavor, but I think once everything else is bumped up, hopefully it gets that, you know, that cheap 
malt f fucking base flavor gone. So, all right, so there you go. And uh, R.I.P. Jack. He's not dead. He's just not here. They took him and put him somewhere else. I don't know. So when I find out, I'll, I'll let you all know. Go find me for Jack. Be below. Uh, we're going to get him a stable. Just kidding. Fuck. We'll be seeing you.